Hello everyone! In this video I will be showing all the pieces I made in the second half of 2021. I'm Marjolein Turin, I'm an indie fashion designer. Everything is handmade by me in my atelier at home. We started out with this blouse made of corduroy fabric. I love the texture of this one and it allowed me to make very big puff sleeves. I also made this gown where I combined corduroy fabric with several laces. The lace around the waist and biceps is vintage. After this I constructed a caped gown decorated with lots of vintage laces and bridal laces. The only problem was that the suede became static with the stretchy fall. So later on I made something else out of it. I made a two-piece gown out of cotton satin combined with vintage laces with lush sleeves. These are two whimsical bridal gowns. They are inspired both by Art Nouveau and by late Victorian fashion and they are decorated with fresh water pearls. I also made this dark version. It's anthracite with black and then with dark grey pearls. And the happy all black one. I made this long black gown with a lace back and lots of diagonal lines. Gown with a bodice derived from late Victorian fashion. I get many requests for a separate skirt, so I decided to make a few nice ones. They're very combinable, but somehow they do not present well on the dress form. I am going to do this again, but I want them to be more exciting. I made several more pieces in the corduroy fabric. A blouse with organ pipe sleeves, a shrug, a waistcoat, another waistcoat, and also two SMS. I made this two piece with a crop top and a high waisted skirt, leaving a small peekaboo of skin in between them. There was in the Netherlands a museum exhibition for which they borrowed one of my gowns, me doing dorky. Here you can show you see a video about how I make this gown. I made an off-white shrug. Here you can see how I make it. I also made some nice shrugs out of this fabric. It's Ausbrenner. I got it in several lovely shades like dark green and black. In between, because I'm random like that, I made some vintage lace shrugs. All the materials in these pieces are vintage and they come from a vintage lingerie lace shop. I thought it was time for a design that I made earlier that year. I love this fabric. I combined it with these very vampire appropriate buttons and at the back I had a lace pair out with metal chains. This is one of the pieces I am happiest with uh, of this collection. It's an ochre gown. <laughs> ochre gown. <laughs> It's a deep rusty orange gown with train. The making of this gown you can see in this video. Here are several shrugs in a thick autumn lace. Again, this was all part of an assorted collection from one of my favorite wholesalers and they had these lovely shades. In this design I used lace trim as a fabric. This is the lace and I used the mid line of the lace for the panels in the bodice and I used it cut out as hemming for the sleeve ends. Out of the velour with the ripped fabric style I made another romantic red tube piece gown. This is again with the 8067 bodice. It has a lovely neckline that you can wear on or off shoulder. And yet another shrug with giant sleeves because that has to happen every now and then. I made two last pieces. First one is dark blue with black. With the blue lace trim I accentuated all the seams. And the last top I went a bit overboard with. I think it's one of my best pieces again. I just used a lot of detailing. Most of it vintage lace and also I used vintage lace trim for the bodice and sewn that onto satin cotton. Yeah, so that's all I made in the second half of 2021. It was not too much because my son was at home a bit more and because I had a bike crash and uh, yeah, some other stuff. Life happened. If you like this sort of overviews, you can watch this playlist. If you like to see me making my pieces, you can see this playlist. I upload new videos every Friday, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.